This is Malik Kahuk from the University of Colorado, here with a short video of a case I did recently with Dr. Deidre St. Peter. The surgery covers a basic learning point for those of you at the early stages of your career as cataract surgeons. The patient in this case has pseudoxfoliation with a visually significant cataract and a poorly dilating pupil. The AC was also very shallow. We start the case by placing a pupil expander and start with the capsular axis, which was completed uneventfully. At the end of the capsular axis, it was thought that the rexus tissue was removed from the AC. But as you can see here, that was not the case, and it remained near the corneal incision. Evacuation of some viscoelastic prior to hydrodissection, followed by removal of the cataract, were all completed with the anterior capsule remnant remaining stuck at the endothelium of the cornea, just anterior to the clear corneal wound. Irrigation aspiration was then done to remove the cortical material. And towards the end of that process, you can see here some cortical material within the port of the IA handpiece and the anterior capsular remnant coming off the tip with part of it actually going into the port as well. A coke spatula was then used to push in the small amount of cortex between the anterior capsular remnant and the port. The IA tip was then removed from the eye and the anterior capsular material was grasped and removed. This is the most efficient thing to do rather than reflux the capsule off the IA tip and go fishing for it later. This case was presented to emphasize the step of ensuring the entire anterior capsular material is removed at the conclusion of the rexus. There have been cases where this is not done and the anterior capsular material is found stuck in the corneal wound or floating in the AC on post-op day one. So get used to ensuring this step is done correctly and make it part of your routine. This patient had a great outcome with 2020 vision post-op day one and enhanced quality of life. Consider visiting keogt.com for more educational material. This video and other educational videos can be found on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you for your time.